Nigerian filmmaker CJ Fiery Obasi is making history at the Sundance Film Festival as his film Mummy Water has been listed as an official selection of the 2023 Sundance Film Festival. The film will screen in the World Cinema Dramatic Competition at the 2023 edition of the festival. Mummy Water is the first film by a Nigerian-based filmmaker to be showcased at the festival. The film is the story of two sisters who must fight to save their people and restore the glory of a mermaid goddess to the land when their village is threatened. The annual film festival organized by the Sundance Institute will take place in Salt Lake City, Utah, in the United States from the 19th to the 29th of January 2023. In September of 2021, Mami Water, which wrapped up production in January of that same year, also scored another first when it was selected to participate in the final cut at the 78th Venice Film Festival. We have joining us this morning the makers of the film, CJ Obasi, and the producer of the film, Ogi Obasi, to tell us all about this achievement. It's good to have you. Thank, Thank you for joining you. us. Thank you so much. So first of all, I want to say congratulations on the miles and the milestones that your film is uh, breaking, the, the awards. I think it's amazing to see that this is the first time an Adrian film is showing. So thank you very much for putting us on the global map. Let's talk about uh, this film, what inspired the story. And I'll start with you, CJ, because we are a deeply religious society. <laughs> and yeah. there's been a lot of shine away from uh, traditional religion. It's mainly the other dominant religion. So what inspired the story? Um, I would say, well, there's the, the personal reason, which is um, because of a, an encounter I had, uh, a very spiritual encounter. Um, but then the other reason would be that um, I've always leaned towards um, our traditional belief systems. Um, I, I've always felt like um, there's not enough representation of that, but also because I feel like it's worthy to be represented in cinema. And just for the simple reason that um, every other person seems to be able to do theirs but ours, but except us, is enough reason. Um, but also on, a, on an even deeper level, I think it says something about who we are as a people and narratively that is somehow missing in our filmmaking. And that has always been something that drew me into filmmaking in the first place, to figure out how I can, through genre, um, express you know some of these spiritualities and belief systems that are rooted in, in in our identity. I'm deeply tempted to ask you. You had an encounter with the mermaid. Yeah, yeah. Should I? Sure. Did you have an encounter with the mermaid? I think so. I mean, um, <laughs> yeah, I think so. Um, in fact, that's actually the main reason why, like, that started the entire this entire thing. Um, this was in 2016, January 2016, um, and I found myself. Uh, to, I, I, I call it a vision because I was fully awake. It wasn't a dream. I wasn't sleeping. Um, I found myself on a beach and I saw um, who I believe to be Mami Water, a deity at, on, in the ocean. And I was on the beach. I was on the white sand of the beach. And she seemed to look right through me. And I saw, I look, I, so I turned my head and I see a young lady approaching me. So she kind of works right past me and heads into the ocean, and then I come to. Um, but the entire dream or vision or whatever, it, it was really vivid, and the entire thing was in black and white, like highly contrasted black and white. Which is what I have seen you represent in this picture, because as you were saying that yeah. encounter, uh, yeah. the director was flashing the video, and it felt like you were just explaining what we were, you were leading us through your vision. Yeah, but so w actually what you're watching isn't the film. I haven't shown a cl any clip of the film oh, anyway. Wow. What you're watching was is a test reel that we did just to ex express what we were trying to do. Yeah, they, during they, the funding during stage. the funding stage, that's what you're watching now. But um, we haven't shown any clip of the movie at all. So the movie will officially premiere at Sundance next year. Okay. Then an audience will see the film for the first time. Okay, I'm hoping <laughs> you'll bring it to Nigeria. But let's talk to yeah. Oge, you're the producer mm -hmm. of the film. Talk to us about uh, some of the, the most exciting times on set as well as maybe the most challenging times on set. So maybe one most exciting time and one most challenging time on set. I think for me, uh, the biggest challenge generally for the project was finding funding for it. Because a very ambitious project, as you can imagine, without uh, a previous reference, you're making something that you can't say is like any other thing out of Africa or anywhere in the world, basically. And so that was the big challenge. For me, personally, the most exciting moment was the first the set of footage <laughs> we had 
And I couldn't believe that <laughs> since 26 days, it's finally happening, and it was so beautiful. That's so hard for me to see. I mean, literally seeing your vision come alive. Yes, it's yes. just like maybe an author who's written a book, and then the first yeah. time your book touches yeah, you. I can't a, imagine what that would feel like. That's the perfect analogy, yes. <laughs> right. So let, let's talk about the casting for the film. Um, mm -hmm. Who and who are we to look out for? And how did you decide who should play what role? I believe you were involved in the casting. Yeah, I was. I, I did pretty much the main casting uh, with some help from, from her. Um, I We wanted to reflect the West African cast because we feel like with Mami Water, um, it's not just indigenous to Nigeria. It's, it's actually, if you travel across West Africa, they all know and recognize the deity as Mami Water, which is interesting. Considering the I would fact have thought it was just a Nigerian. Yeah. Exactly. So you see, like, which is interesting because you have Anglophones and Francophones in West Africa, but they both recognize and identify her as Mami Wata. So um, that I found interesting. And so um, the other, actually, the other title of the film is Mami Wata, a West African folklore. So it's, it's really rooted in West African um, folklore. And I wanted to reflect that in the casting as well. Unfortunately, we were in lockdown, so I couldn't cast as wide as possible. But the casting call went throughout West Africa. Um, we ended up, I ended up casting an Ivorian actress, um, Evelyn Eiley, as the lead. Um, I casted her from watching over a thousand submissions from across West Africa. You know, just going through every single video submission, because everyone did their monologue and their because we were in lockdown, we couldn't hold a physical Where were you at this time? I was still in Lagos at this time. Okay. Um, and then um, we're just watching videos and videos and videos. And as soon as I saw her, she was there. And as soon as I saw her, I said, that's this my Prisca. <laughs> you know, because that's the character she plays. I says, that's my Prisca. And so that's really <laughs> pretty much how it happened. And she didn't know a word of English. Even she had to learn English to do her video submission. Um, so that dedication, it was after I selected her that she confided in me that she doesn't know how to speak English. Okay, was the film done in English language? Pigeon English. It was done so in she Pigeon. Had to learn English so she had to learn English in to order to learn Pigeon. pigeon. <laughs> what? So yes. <laughs> My goodness. I'm even more pumped for it. Yeah. Okay, uh, we are talking about this. The audience is going to see for the first time at the Sundance Film Festival. Are we maybe going to get a viewing in Nigeria? What are the hopes for Mami Water? the West African folklore? What's, what's the projection or the expectation for this movie? Oh, well, you're definitely going to see it in Nigeria. Um, you forgot to mention we have Rita Idoche, Kelechi yeah. Udegbe, Emeka Makeze um, in the film. Um, so, Fimon distributor is distributing for Africa. And, um, I mean, at Sundance, is like, you know, breaking open the dam. It, the, the possibilities are unlimited um, for the industry as well as for the film. And uh, afterward, we'll discuss <laughs> what timeline to bring it back home. But definitely, it's going to show in Nigeria. Maybe Netflix in the near future? Uh, well, Absolutely. theatrically first, yeah. at least, yeah, because yes. the, the theatrical experience is very important to me. Okay. And I feel like this film has a specific visual aesthetic um, in black and white, and a very particular kind of black and white. The DOP and I, Lily Suarez, who is a Brazilian um, DOP, we really spent a lot of time crafting the cinematic codes that are used in this film and we feel like it really translates best on on the big screen all right i'm so excited it feels like i i'm color compliant i mean, I mean i'm wearing black i was going to wear yeah, yeah, yeah. i'm very color compliant yes. i'm excited about the work that you have done and i honestly earnestly look forward to seeing mommy water thank you so much thank you very much for joining Thanks us. For having us thank you Appreciate we've had cj fiery obasi and Ogi obasi tell us about Mami um, Water, so look out for it and uh, follow them on social media to keep up to date with all the behind the scenes. Mm -hmm.